A good return policy is something that customers consider when making an online purchase. Good customer service is one of the strategic goals for companies that strive for a high level of customer loyalty. Sano delivers an easy and personalized return experience to build trust relationship between shop owners and their customers. The return process is completely automated and integrated with the sales order processing in Microsoft Dynamics AX. In Sana Admin, in the ordering settings, you can enable and disable return orders for different customer types. Sana provides two ways of creating a return order – sales document-based and sales document-free. Sales document-based means that a customer can create a return order from invoice by selecting the products from the invoice to return. In this case, a return order can be created only when the order has been posted in AX and the invoice has been created. A customer can create a return order from the posted invoice detail page in the Sana Web Store. Only business customers and sales agents can create a return order from invoice. Sales document free means that a customer can create a return order which is not connected to any sales document from the My Return Orders page by adding a product or several products to the return order. Such return orders should be checked and processed manually by a sales manager. This option is available to all types of customers. For a customer, creating a return order in Sana is really straightforward. All he or she has to do is to choose one or several products which a customer wants to return and define quantity to return. If a customer creates a return order from invoice, he or she cannot return more than it was purchased. For example, if a customer purchased five pieces of a product, he or she can return all five or less. This could be due to a quality issue or wrong size or color of one of the pieces, for example. If a customer returned not all pieces of a product, he or she can create another return order from the same invoice if necessary and return another piece or all that are left. When a customer creates a return order, the maximum return quantity of a product from the invoice is shown. When the return order is created, the maximum return quantity will be decreased. When all pieces of a product are returned, a customer will not be able to create another return order from the same invoice. A customer can also add comments to each product that is selected for return and a general comment for the return order. The general comment for a return order is limited to 2000 characters. Return order line comments are limited to 900 characters. A customer must select a return reason. The list of return reasons is retrieved from Microsoft Dynamics AX. To manage the list of return reasons in AX, which are shown in the Sana Web Store, click Sales and Marketing, Setup, Sales Orders, Returns, Return Reason Codes. Use this window to set up return reasons. The description of a return reason is shown in the Sana Web Store. You must select the Visible and Web Shop checkbox for all return reasons, which should be available in the Web Store. A customer can also attach files to the return order, for example, a photo or a copy of a receipt to provide shop admin with more details. A customer can attach images, audio, video, and PDF files to the return order. Several files can be attached. To attach several files, all required files should be selected and added simultaneously or dropped here. The total maximum size of file attachments is 12 MB. The length of a file name must not exceed 40 characters. File attachment types and extensions, as well as file size and file name limits, can be changed in the web.config file of the Sana Commerce front-end. Files attached to a return order are stored in the file system on the web server. 
They can be found on the web server or shop administrator can also view file attachments directly from SANA admin using file manager. Each folder inside the return order folder corresponds to a specific return order by its ID. When the return order is created by a customer, it is saved to Microsoft Dynamics AX. All comments, return reason, and files attached to the return order are shown on the return order details page in the order history. All this information is also stored in the return order in AX. When the return order is created by a customer, he or she receives a return order confirmation email. At the same time, the email that the return order has been created is sent to Web Store Administrator. The emails are sent based on two return order email templates. In SANA Admin, you should enter the email address to which the emails about created return orders should be sent. These are the emails which are sent to the Web Store Administrator. When the return order is created by a customer and saved to AX, it is the responsibility of a sales manager or any other involved people to handle a return order. Handling of return processes involves different tasks that are performed by various company employees. Those return orders which are created directly from Asana Web Store can be seen in the standard table of return orders in Microsoft Dynamics AX. And in the return orders table on the webshop area page. Here you can see only those return orders which are created from the SANA Web Store. The return reason code is stored in the return order header. The general comments can be seen in the return order header on the e-commerce fast tab in the comments field. Comments added to the sales lines can be seen in the return order line details in the text field. In AX, we don't store the files attached by customer to the return order, but only the links to these files. You can see the URLs of the files attached to the return order in the document handling window by clicking Attachments. The AX user can open the file attachment URL in the web browser and download the file. 